Good morning guys. I thought I'd do a quick garden tour, um, but first I wanted to show you something that I'm doing inside to prepare for the fall season. Um, I want to grow green beans in the fall just because they do a little bit better here um, than the, the spring because it gets so hot so quick. Um, but I'm soaking my green beans because these will not germinate outside unless they are almost coming to where they're growing a little bit. So I'm going to leave these soaking until we get a little bit of just a little nubby of growth and then I'll put them outside and we will get on growing them outside for, for the fall. And that will start them out faster and making sure that they germinate and all that fun stuff. So let's see what the garden's doing outside. Um, some of the stuff that I planted already for a second round is coming up. Um, and let's go see. So stepping out here to the garden, you can see that I've cleared out these beds, uh, these little just containers. Um, and that's where um, my, um, uh, I'm going to grow cilantro in there, but I'm going to wait a while on that. And then in these other areas, we're going to go ahead and put in the uh, beans. This is my cucumber here that I started just recently. Um, and it's growing, putting on flowers and ready to start growing some cucumbers. Don't see any on there yet. Um, it's been a hard cucumber year, guys. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. Going out here to my sweet potato mound. It is growing like crazy. It's trying to grow outside. I keep on picking up these pieces that are growing outside and throwing it back over. Um, but if you look inside here, um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're starting to get some mounds in there. So we'll just keep on throwing this stuff over because we don't want it to concentrate on growing anymore. We want it to concentrate on those tubers that are in there and it's totally growing outside the the pool that I put it in over here but um, as you can see there I need to throw it all over um, so it doesn't continue to grow on the ground here. These are our voluntary tomatoes here right in front of you. Um, they're starting to put on a little bit of tomatoes. Thank God for the breeze. We'll get them going. This is a volunteer as well, but it's a bigger tomato. Um, it's the one I was showing you. Look at the roots on it. It was trying to connect to the ground and just con concentrating on growth. Um, so I, you know, put it on a pole and hopefully we'll start to see some tomatoes on there now. Um, so that's a good thing over here. Our tomatoes are still growing. This thing is growing like crazy. We've had a lot of rain. Um, sorry about the lawn mowing, guys. It's a break in the rain and it's going to start raining again later on this week. So everybody has out the lawn mowers. Um, but look, look what we have here. We have a pumpkin. And isn't that awesome? So um, nothing else that I'm seeing here so far. Most of these uh, plants are males that just closed up. Look at that wasp on there. Dangerous fellow. And then, of course, a nice stink bug. <laughs> and then, of course, we have tomatoes galore, so I need to pick tomatoes later again. Um, and I'm just putting them in the freezer now. I save a couple out. Um, so we can can. We're starting to get more peppers on. As you can see there, there's a little jalapeno pepper. Um, so we're getting our second round of peppers on. And those are going to turn yellow because they're, um, they're, oh, cucumber. As these ones are here, go ahead and pick those. 
so we can get more on there. These are the um, lemon jalapenos. So, and then this, I'm gonna back up here so you guys can see this, all this stuff along the fence, that's loofah, um, going crazy. Hopefully we'll get some loofah the year, this year. And then this is cucumber, having its second wind with some more flowers. Um, that's actually a, a brand new cucumber plant, even though it looks beat up. Um, I don't do a lot for bugs here. Um, let's see if we can see the sunflower a little better. So let's see if we can get that up there. You guys can see that sunflower. Isn't that gorgeous? And a bird just flying by. Hopefully you guys saw that sunflower very well. That's the only way I can see it too. So there we go. Beautiful sunflower. Okay. And then here's our other sunflower. You can see the seeds forming in there. It will dry out. You can see the seeds forming in there like, like so. It will dry out and then we'll pick those sunflower seeds and uh, save them for next year. So our kale is still growing, um, getting a lot of bug damage now, but uh, still growing like crazy. Um, let me see if I see any loofah. Don't see any starts. I'll probably, I'll come out here and bam, they'll be all over the place. Our potatoes are there. Um, they're doing okay. I mean, they haven't been looking really healthy. So I wonder if they're, they're not flowered yet. So I'm wondering if they are gonna flower. And of course our loofah's running all of our tomato plants, as you can see there, and just keeps on growing. And I need to pick more uh, tomatoes off of this plant as well. As you look inside there, you can see the tomatoes in the plants. And then we got more um, peppers coming on here. Sweet peppers. Um, they like it really hot. And so we'll get some more peppers coming on there. And then here's the loofah that goes all the way out here and ends here. And I just keep on encouraging her to hang on to the fence. So um, there's the, the garden. So it starts way over here. That's probably about 20 feet of fence. And it's trying to go over <laughs> again, as you can see here. And I just keep on encouraging it to grow down and on the fence. Um, it was growing over the fence. There's how tall my, that, that sunflower is probably seven foot tall or more. And of course the dogs are looking for tomatoes that have fallen on the ground. Come on dogs, get out of there. Get out of there, Norman. So that's the garden out here. So excited about the mounding up that's happening here in my um, sweet potato bed. and the voluntary tomatoes there. Let's go see what's happening in the herb garden in the front. Here's our herb garden in the front yard. Some of it is, you know, um, it's really not good to eat after this point where, sorry about that guys. I'm just gonna talk a little louder. Um, where it's gone to flower, it's really not good to eat after that. Um, this other stuff will be, great to eat but the stuff that's gone to flower it gets bitter when it does but we'll get some seed off of there you can see it's going to seed so that's nice um, otherwise I would cut the heads off it's it's really you really don't want those herbs to flower like that because they tend to go bitter uh, when they do flower but um, you know then you get seed from them so you know uh, 
I've, I've had enough basil that I needed this year, so I'm not doing a lot of a lot of uh, canning of tomatoes because I just don't have a whole lot. So I really don't need a lot of basil this year, but next year on our property, uh, we'll grow a lot of basil and cut a lot of basil because we'll probably be doing a lot more canning once we're on our property and doing all that. So, um, so that's the garden, just a real quick tour. Uh, a lot going on, but not a, a big harvest this year just because we don't have a lot of space this year. But I can't wait to get out on that property and uh, as soon as we get our house built, we'll be out there and growing that garden and I'll be preparing the garden while the house is being built, um, even during like the uh, early, um, early spring, um, you know, so um, probably even before then I'll be out there during the winter seeing what I can do. So. Anyways, God bless you guys. Thank you for coming for the garden tour. I'm chasing the dream maker and my dreams. Go chase yours. And we'll see you next time. Bye.